Asan Vice Chairman and MD India Cements joins in to talk more about how business is shaping up. Mr. Shunamasan, it's great to have you on the show. Thanks very much for taking out the time. How is the cement industry poised uh, going into 2019 and beyond? Uh, how are you evaluating uh, the business? The, uh, as far as the cement is concerned, the uh, demand has been increasing even during 2018. For the first time 2018, we saw, if we take April, October, the figures are out, there's a 15% growth in consumption, in demand for India as a whole. The uh, south and east have grown at about 20-22%, north and west around 10%. This is for the first time after a long time that I'm, we are seeing double digit growth in uh, cement. The expectation is that this will continue going forward because there is uh, a lot of commitment into infrastructure which can't be stopped, which is continuing. And also private sector housing is, is seeing very sharp increase. Even if you take the real estate sector, uh, Maybe in the very large metropolitan cities like Mumbai and you know, in some places, it is a little slow. But in all other cities, in rural India, uh, the uh, uh, consumption is, is very good. For example, the capacity utilization has gone up. The capacity utilization in the, no in the uh, north is about 78 percent. South from 60, it has come to 70 plus percent. So this augurs well from a consumption point of view. As far as prices are concerned, I think prices will pick up as the capacity utilization stabilizes at higher levels. Mm. Mr. Srinivas, analysts are very confused in terms of how 2019 is looking. Some are calling for a demand revival, while others fear the election year will have uh, an impact on construction activity. What is your own sense? I, I think the demand will be good. I mean, uh, I don't think uh, construction activity will be impacted per se by the elections. The, you must understand what is driving cement demand today. No doubt there is a, there is a certain element of push from the infrastructure sector, namely uh, the particularly, for example, take Andhra, Telangana, there is a lot of uh, infra demand roads, uh, dams, etc. being built which will continue to be built. The primary uh, driver has been uh, private sector housing. Private sector demand has been very good. And I think that will continue through the elections. And I, I, I don't see the elections as uh, dampening the demand for cement. Right. Mr. Srinivasan, morning. Uh Good to have you on the show, firstly, and after a very, very long gap. Uh, but have to ask you about the GST rate cuts, uh, which were announced on Saturday at the 31st uh, GST Council meeting. The fact that cement was actually left out of the ambit of the rate cuts. Uh, do you think this was a prudent move? The finance minister did cite that this would have huge revenue bearing for states. Was it a prudent move to leave cement outside of the rate cut ambit, sir? See, I can't talk for the finance minister, but all I know is cement is one of the largest contributors to the government in terms to the exchequer. If you take uh, a capacity of say 300, 350 million tons and considering that almost 1,400 rupees per ton, go, it's almost about 40,000 crores plus that cement c contributes. Why would a government uh, take a hit on this? You know, this is, it's a... Uh, for a long time, cement has been a very large contributor to the exchequer. So I think uh, I can understand the reasoning why cement was not touched. Okay, fair point. Is the industry then, sir, poised to end the oversupply concerns? Is majority of the mergers and acquisitions activity done and is majority of capacity already uh, now coming on stream as we step into 2019? See, that is true, you see, because uh, the capacity utilization, it, once it crosses 70, 75 percent, then it is just, you see, the 
usual thumb rule is that if you are at a, around 85 percent, then you are at full capacity. Uh, I think this year you, you may see that uh, the capacity utilization will cross 80 percent, and which is reasonable full capacity utilization. So I think it is fair to say that the oversupply will during the year will, will come slowly come to an end. How are overall cost constraints in the industry in terms of input cost pressures panning out? Uh, uh, do you see easing uh, in pet coke prices as well? I think so. You see, the uh, reduction in oil prices uh, would lead to reduction in freight also. So I think that going forward, the next quarter, uh, you will start seeing an, an easing of uh, the cost pressure on cement. And what are the capacity utilization trends uh, that you're picking in the market currently at this point? Or do you see further pain before it starts uh, moving upwards? See, the capacity utilization uh, in North India is 78% to close to 80%. And I think uh, possibly they will reach full capacity very soon. In the south also, you see, the south is growing at 22% uh, April, October. So this kind of uh, growth, uh, I think next year you will see south also reaching uh, uh, very high levels of capacity. And the concentration of capacity is, is in the south, you see, you must understand that. Because limestone is in the, in the southern states. You know, talking about that, Mr. Srinivasan, I also wanted to assess uh, whether or not you at India Cements are looking at the acquisition route and whether or not you're looking to acquire any uh, stressed assets if you do have any, of, any on your radar. At the present moment, I want to go to full capacity utilization. See, because okay. when I have capacity that is unutilized, it doesn't make sense to look at any acquisition. Oh, absolutely. I get your point there. What about demand from Kerala, Kerala rebuilding? Are you, are you seeing any unprecedented demand coming in from that state? Good. The demand in Kerala is very good. In fact, uh, uh, it is not so much... Uh, uh, government spend but it is private sector spending and uh, we are seeing uh, uh, extremely uh, robust demand in Kerala one final question then sir and we let you go after that I promise you what is the percentage mix of the market demand in Tamil Nadu that was still impacted by sand mining uh, because you know competition is still guiding for a decline in the state of Tamil Nadu so wanted to understand what really is the status post the resolution of a sand mining issue in the state of Tamil Nadu See, the sand mining issue is slowly getting resolved so I would not blame that for uh, any fluctuation of demand. Uh, the demand is slowly picking up again and the other issues, collateral issues like sand mining, etc. are slowly dying down. So I think the next day will be good. Mr. Srinivasan, we leave it at that. So have a lovely day. Uh, enjoy the holiday season. Thank you very much for joining us and giving us more details about India Cements as well as the sector per se.